Congressman Scott Perry joins us. Good evening, sir. And one of Good the evening. things, one of the things our new Secretary of Defense said at this uh, meeting that he was at uh, uh, is that the U.S. strategy against ISIS is on the right track. Now, either that's right, that's true, or he's trying to please his new boss, or he's looking at different information than other people. What's I mean? Are we on the right track? Well, certainly I don't think we're on the right track, but I do want to give deference to the new secretary. He's been literally in the job for a couple of weeks and, and been thrown into a, a very, very difficult situation but ha, but that has, is incredibly has complex. He been, has he been in the Defense Department for a while? I mean, yes, he's in a new job, but hasn't he been in the Defense Department for a while? He has been, obviously, but, but if you know the Defense Department, a lot of times the information flow... Uh, about issues as complex as this one might not uh, might not be what they should be and literally now he's been spending the last couple of weeks and literally at that press conference getting briefed up on on what he the strategy is and quite honestly Greta you know that I don't think it's much of a strategy I, I think it's an aspirational goal but I want to defer to him and give him a little bit of time I, to get his I, mind wrapped around it I, I would I'd love to too but we're getting a lot of happy talk out of him and, I, and one of my first guests says 90 Christians were just kidnapped my next guest is about three girls who have gone over there, not right. the only ones. They're girls, so you know it's, it's nice that he's just new on the job, but he's been at the sec he's been at the Defense Department for some while, and and I you know I I don't want to hear happy talk. I want straight talk. Yeah, I, I absolutely do as well. We want to give him just a little bit of time to get his mind wrapped around the situation and make some adjustments. I certainly expect. I think the American people expect some adjustments, but he's got to see. Uh, very viscerally, what granularly, what the plan is, because quite honestly, I don't see it, and maybe there's a good reason that members of Congress and the American people don't see all of it. There are classified information well, components to it, but let him get a t take a look at that, and, and let's see in the next couple of weeks if, if he makes some changes. And I think then, if, if nothing changes, and we continue to see what we what we have been seeing, that it, that it's a, certainly a, the correct opportunity for constructive criticism. Look, Look, I know he's just got on the job, but there's a sense of urgency, you know, that, that I, you know, I feel when I look at these numbers every night, you know, and maybe nobody else is in a rush. You know, Capitol Hill is in no rush to do the funding for DHS. Nobody's in a rush. But when I see 90 Christians kidnapped, and I think they're probably all going to be slaughtered by, by daybreak tomorrow because of what ISIS has done, is I don't, I don't have that sense like, you know, let's just, let's sort of, you know, let, let's give him time while he gets his feet wet. I want to know the straight story. Well, now, I agree with you, Greta. As members of Congress, we authorize and certainly we criticize and we evaluate and provide oversight. But literally, this is the job of the commander in chief. And we're as frustrated as, as anybody is. We're right here close to it. But we can't affect it in the way that people might think we can. We can only advise. We can authorize. It is the president's job. It is the commander in chief's job to prosecute the war. And I would also say this. Maybe uh, the secretary has been left out of and habitually has been left out of many of these policy decisions, which we continually hear happen v with a very close set of advisors at the White House, not including many of the people, including DOD, the Defense Department, that should be in the conversation. And we hope maybe there will be a change now with this, uh, with this Terry. Well, I certainly hope he's not left out in the dark because it's sort of his job yeah. to uh, be the, do this. Absolutely. Take care, of the, take care of the military. Congressman, thank you, sir. Thank you.